What's up everybody, Destin Legary here, and this is your guide on how to tame a dragon. Anyway, in the Skyrim Dragonborn DLC, you will gain the ability to tame and ride dragons. It can be a confusing process, so here's how to start. To ride a dragon, you as a player must acquire all three words of the Bend Will Shout from the main quest line and use it on a dragon, obviously. The dragon will then land and allow the player to climb onto its back and ride it. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, you can't directly control the dragon while riding, but you can give it certain instructions. The dragon will begin flying in a circular pattern around the area you mounted it. You can lock on to a single enemy, which causes the dragon to attack that target. The dragon will then use a standard aerial attack pattern and can be assisted by the player through certain shouts and spells. Area of effect spells or summons cannot be used while riding a dragon, sadly, and the use of weapons are limited. To fast travel to different areas, the player must indicate on the map where the dragon should fly. Once given the command to land, the dragon will return to the ground level where you can dismount. The dragon will then either assist you with the enemies or simply leave. You won't be able to fast travel on a dragon to major cities like Solitude or Whiterun, nor can you fast travel to the new area from Skyrim or vice versa. Most high level named dragons are unable to be tamed such as Parthenox, Alduin, and the skeletal dragon found in Labyrinthian. However, you can tame and ride Odaving by traveling to the throat of the world and taming him as he circles the summit. Kinda cool, right? Anyway, for more information, a help section is added onto the menu after you mount your first dragon. And for more about dragon riding, be sure to keep it locked right here on IGN.